Welcome to Mendeley video course. You are watching video number 13, Managing a Mendeley Library, Creating Folders. In this video, we will show you how to create folders and subfolders within Mendeley Library and organize your library. As we showed earlier, all documents is the master list. It's the master folder which contains all the references in your library. All the other folders are subsets of this all documents. Mendeley provides certain folders by default. It's part of the inherent settings like recently added, recently read, favorites, needs review, so on and so forth. In addition, you can create folders on your own. We will see how to do that. All you have to do is go and click on create folder and give a new name. That's how simple is creating a folder is. Once you have done that, drag and drop all the references you want from the all documents into this folder. Let's go for live demonstration. Now this is how the Mendeley desktop appears. You can go and say create folder, click on it and give it a name. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create three folders for three different research projects. Okay, One is my PhD project, I'm going to name it as PhD. I'll create another folder which says project one. I'll create one more folder called project two. Instead of using this option here, I can go up here and click on create a new folder. Does the same thing, both the same. So I'm going to say project two. Now this is how you create a folder. You can also create subfolders. For that, first you have to click on that folder and then click here, create a folder. Now it creates a folder within that folder called PhD. Can you see that? I'm going to say chapter one. Now, if I want to create another folder within PhD folder, what should I do first? Click on the folder first and then click new folder. Chapter two. Now, if I want to create a subfolder within chapter one, what should we do? Click on chapter one and then create a folder. So, this is some subfolder. Is that clear? So, in this way, you can organize your references uh, by creating folders and subfolders. This is like creating folders in your windows. Not much of a difference here. Once you have done that, the next step is to drag and drop these documents into these folders. So let's try and do that. Let's say I select, I'm using shift key and doing multiple selections. Let's say all these belong to my PhD. So I just drag it and drop it on the PhD. So now if I go to PhD folders, I have all these documents there. Please note what you are doing here is creating a copy of the document in the all documents for the PhD folder. So let's say if you delete the folders for the uh, delete the references from the PhD folder. No problem, those documents are still there in all documents. If you really want to delete a document from your library altogether, you have to do it in all documents. Deleting it from individual folders will not make a difference. Is that clear? Now, let's redo this. I'm going to select these documents and then drag and drop it in PhD. So this is now available in 
in PHD, that folder. Will this be available also in chapter 1? No, because this has gone to PHD. If you want to put some within chapter 1, you can put it. But once you place something in chapter 1 of the PHD folder, it automatically becomes part of PHD folder as well. So let's try that. Let's say this reference, Mutuvel, I'm going to drag and drop it in chapter 1. So I can see it in chapter 1. But this is also a part of the overall PHD folder. Now this is how this is how it works. Please notice there is a folder called unsorted. And currently there are 31 documents in unsorted. Now what is this? This folder lists those references which have not been assigned to a folder yet. So once we assign references to a folder, then the documents in this folder disappears. In fact, once we assign all the documents to a folder, the folder unsorted itself disappears. Let's have a look at it. Let's go to all documents and I'm going to let's say assign these to project one and assign some of these to project two. So I have assigned most of the documents but not these. So there are about 12 documents in a sense in all in my all documents which have not been assigned a folder. So let's go and see in unsorted those 12 documents are still there. Okay. Now let me go back to all documents and choose these 12 references and put it in, give a folder to it. Once you have done that, you see the folder unsorted has now completely disappeared because there are no references in my library which have not been assigned a folder. To summarize, folders are a great way to organize your library. You can create subfolders and sub subfolders. Please note deleting a reference from a folder does not delete it from the Mendeley library. A copy will always be there in all documents. If you really want to delete, you have to delete it from all documents. Even then, it moves to a folder called trash and only emptying the trash bin will permanently delete all the documents. In the next video, we will show you how to manage Mendeley library by adding tags. Thanks for watching.